let's come to another kind of uh, signal called as uh, impulse signal impulse signal is uh, also called as direct delta signal we can write it as uh, f delta t equals to 0 for t not equals to 0 and its value is equals to k sorry its value is equals to a for t equals to 0 here what is a a is the area of the impulse signal it is also known as the strength of the impulse a is also known as the strength of the impulse understand let's understand it with the, the help of a graph this is the graph of the impulse signal as you can see here uh, how it is it has been drawn that its value is zero for all the values of t which are not zero so only at t equals to zero it has value a okay at all other points except uh, t equals to zero it doesn't exist okay and all these values either negative or positive or negative its value is zero only at a it has only at zero it has value a so if the value of a if the area of the impulse signal is one we are taking a as one then it would be called as a unit impulse signal okay so unit impulse signal can be defined as a delta t so delta t is equals to zero for t not equals to zero and its value is one at t equals to zero okay its value is one at uh, t equals to zero so let's write here zero okay so we can define the area of the unit impulse signal like this this a value can be defined as integration from minus infinity to infinity delta t dt so we have defined it for all the values of t from minus infinity to infinity with respect to time so it is equals to 1 so a is always equals to 1 for unit impulse signal we can understand it uh, by this example also this graph also how it is 1 let's draw here two uh, I have drawn here two rectangular shapes here it is a on the x-axis and on the y-axis its uh, height is 1 by a so if I multiply this blue shape blue rectangle then its area will be 1 by a into a equals to 1 similarly in this case the area of this orange uh, rectangle would be 1 by b into b equals to 1 okay so a is equals to one in all these uh, in both of these cases so area of these both rectangles is one each since you can see here that uh, as i decrease the value of a so the value of one by a will increase therefore a into one by a will remain same always equals to one okay so now let's uh, see the shifted impulse f delta t minus a denoted by a I am uh, here shifting it on the positive x-axis in the right side so its value is 0 for t not equals to a and its value is a for t equals to a as you can see here in this diagram this is the shifted impulse signal that its value at a t equals to a is equals to a but all the at all the values of t except a it is not defined it, sorry it is zero so it has been shifted from here to here so it is only defined at a it is all uh, has only value at uh, value of a at t equals to a okay at other points it is zero so this is f of t minus 
a shifted impulse friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye